Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Femi. To the new subscribers, I welcome you to the channel. And for existing subscribers, I thank you so much for, for being part of this journey. In this video, we're going to be looking at how I passed my AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. So let's do it. What is AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner? This is actually a certification that enables you to have a foundational knowledge of cloud initiatives, especially the AWS platform. With this certification, you are able to have like foundational basic understanding of what cloud computing means and also to understand things like the concepts when it comes to cloud also you you would understand things like you know security and as well as your responsibilities when you start utilizing services on the cloud platform and as well as the responsibilities of aws this actual certification is really good if you want to move into you know things like cloud engineering and you know cloud architecture or cloud design you want to start you know moving away from hosting your your systems on premises and you want to start hosting them in the cloud i think this is actually a certification that would help you ease into understanding what the cloud is all about according to aws um, website it actually recommends that you have at least six months experience using aws cloud like playing around with some of the services also understanding like things like your security concepts on the cloud and, and as well as the pricing and billing concepts and as well as your your compliance in terms of this actual certification you should be able to pass it without any experience like to my best knowledge i believe that you don't really need any experience to get into it for myself i already had two years experience using aws before i went into writing this exam so it's all about you know who you are as a person and how quick you can easily learn you know this actual services on aws let's talk about the the cost of the exam the cost of the exam is 100 us dollars and um, with this actual exam one thing i love about it is if you pass the actual exam you get 50 percent off your next exam which I, I feel like it's actually a very good deal because when I did my AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate, I got 50% off. The actual exam for that one actually cost $150, but I ended up paying $75. So this is actually the price of you know, the exam. So how did I prepare for the exam? At first, I actually joined a, a group session at work with some of the of, of my colleagues and we were trying to study together but it wasn't really working because everyone was quite busy you know to find time to do the group um, studies together was was quite a mission and I had to stop for a while for, for, for a couple of months and then I, I, I just you know started studying personally by myself and one of the resources I used was the Udemy kit I, I, I bought from Stefan Marik. It's actually a very good material. It's, it actually covers even far beyond the actual scope of the exam. Um, it's very, very detailed. It has all the information that you need. And another thing I also used was a practice exam kit that I got also from Udemy, which actually really helped because with that exam kit, um, it was actually quite it was over i think around 300 questions and mock exam just to prepare you and one of the good things about the actual uh, mock exam is that you get to um, review the answers that you the questions that you get wrong any question that you get wrong you can actually you know go back to it revise it see why it was wrong and they give you a detailed information why you why why your answer is wrong and why um the other answer or, or the correct answer is actually right so uh, with this i actually got much more understanding and that really helped me to prepare for the exam and another thing i want to mention is that 
for that actual mock exam, I tried as much as possible to get at least above 80% on each of the, uh, of this um, exam set. I was able, um, practice exam set, I was able to at least get around above 80, you know, 80%, 90% like that. And after that, I was, I was really confident enough and I knew that I was actually ready, you know, to go for the exam. And also another thing I also try to do is try as much as possible to recall some of those things from my memory. Even when I'm, you know, by myself doing other things, I try to ask myself, you know, what is, you know, what is actually um, S3, you know, S3, S3 bucket. What, you know, what is, you know, what is my responsibility as a, a the, the user of AWS platform and what is the responsibility of AWS so those things I was able to answer them without even checking out my book and that was when I knew okay, I was really ready for the exam the registration of the exam you can actually go with um, two options which is actually registering with PSI or with Pearson view those are the two options they give you I actually went with Pearson, Pearson view and also you can either write it in your in your place at your home or at a actual location where they they've you know where they actually like you know invigilate and you know monitor you writing the exam but i actually chose writing it from home and funny enough i actually wrote it in one of the toilets i've got here <laughs> and um it was actually very um easy to you know to do you you go onto the actual person um, site and then from there you you have to make payment for you know for your exam and once you make your payment you can actually they, they allow you to download a test um, software onto your onto the actual laptop or the computer that you're going to use for the exam and what you need to do is install that software once you install the software you have to make sure that there is no other software running on your on your on your laptop or on your computer and make sure that um you know you could actually like see that it's working properly you know because that actually this is that is how you're going to also do the exam and you have to just make sure that also wherever you're going to write the exam, if you choose to write it at home, you have to make sure that there are no books around you. The area is cleared. Um, you only have your computer with you. And, and also you, you would actually definitely need your phone to be able to ensure that you, you know, capture, you know, they, they, they would guide you through the process where you need to take pictures, you know, take pictures of your surroundings. And also when the invigilator comes online, um, he or she will ask you to, you know, carry up your, your, your laptop to show around the room, to show where you are and just to be sure that you don't have anything that could implicate you or that could penalize you. Um, and for the actual exam itself, the format of the exam is quite straightforward. It's actually multiple choice um, questions where in some cases you might have to choose the best, you know, the best answer from the options or you have to choose maybe two or more um, answers based um, based on the question you have been asked and it's actually 90 minutes the exam is 90 minutes and immediately you're done with the actual exam you actually get a, a you know an information to tell you if you passed or not um, in my case i actually passed and i got my 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 exam score i think it took around two days for me to get it or two yeah two days or thereabout and i actually passed with um 905 out of 1000 in terms of the difficulty of the exam it is actually quite easy to pass the exam if you if you if you prepare for it it's not a difficult exam although you see in some cases where the questions you get in the in the actual exam itself it's quite tricky and you just have to be able to know which of the answers provided is the is the best or the correct one. And also, one thing I just want to mention, which is quite crucial, is that on the day of your exam, make sure that you actually are there early enough to do the actual admin, because there's actually some admin you have to do. Let's say, for instance, you want to write the exam 1 a.m. in the middle of the night. Make sure at least give yourself some sort of like, a, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes just to make sure that at least you can check your internet. Make sure your internet is working. 
make sure you are in a place where um, you, you're sec you know you're secluded and also make sure that no one is making you know making noise or you know trying to open the door of where you are because that could actually penalize you <laughs> so just make sure that you by yourself the place is properly you know cleared uh, i just have to you know emphasize on this because it is very important and also during the exam they would prefer you they can see your face because there's actually a facial recognition that would actually track your facial movements just to be sure that you're not trying to cheat <laughs> just make sure that you bear all of this in mind and also one of the other thing i want to you know talk about is you know what happens what's next what is the value of this actual certification for me personally i would say that it's it actually helps you to boost your 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 you know your cv it helps you to you know in a way stand out in terms of let's say for instance um you know because there's still a, a few number of people that still you know trying to understand this cloud concepts and all of that and it actually gives you an edge but in terms of the certification itself um without you having any you know no degree no you know no 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 educational background and you just go for it i don't think by itself you can actually get a job you still need to you know have some years of experience working on you know on the cloud on the cloud you know developing some sort of like a solution or system for you to be able to be considered to you know to get a job in you know in that space but i can tell you in terms of your growth you can actually if you have the certification you can actually also do the other certifications like your solutions architect associates and also like you can it can it can help you to be able to get into roles like cloud engineer um, cloud ar architect you know things like that it can really help you to actually you know get into this specialized uh, positions which is actually very good and um, I hope you actually succeed you know writing this exam if you're preparing for this try as much as possible to you know prepare be ready for the exam even the, the night before the exam try to relax try to just you know calm down and you know be positive and actually go for it and i'm and i can tell you 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 definitely going to pass if you've really pre prepared for it and you've actually covered all the different domains you know that have been that have been set in the actual um, exam guidelines and i hope you guys enjoyed this if this video actually added value to you please like this video subscribe also comment you know comment on some of the things i might have missed any information comment on this video and you know let's engage and i'll see you in my next video keep walking